That's not a hot pepper plant. Well, I wonder what that is. It's like a hot pepper party here. I didn't put my shoes on, so I'm just stepping in the rabbit poop. Anybody want a cat? It's a black cat. I think I just tore that little plant. Let me get out of here. I'm stuck on a tomato cage. That's like a ball. Once I get the pressure canner, then I'll do the canning videos. Probably uh, should have put some gloves on, but did I know? I did. We're gonna wave. It would sure be a lot easier if this cage wasn't on there, wouldn't it? Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Today we're going to pick hot peppers because we've seemed to have a hot pepper explosion happening in our garden right now. And what I'm going to do with these is we're going to weigh them because we need to do that for our shed wars. Hashtag Team Woodcutter. But what I'm going to do is just pick them all and when Rob gets home we're going to get the fish scale out. We're going to look for the fish scale first and then weigh the peppers, then cut up all the peppers. And then I'm gonna freeze them in pepper rings so I can can them all at one time. Wait for that video, Michelle's gonna can. That ought to be interesting. This pepper plant right here, this one, he actually fell over. I had to go get a cage and put him in a cage because look at, look at this. And then this one fell over also and there's quite a few peppers on there. So let me get this fencing opened up and we'll start picking peppers. It's like a hot pepper party here. Good grief. I'm happy I have all these peppers. I have this bag. I'm just gonna put them in this bag and try not to like mush things. Maybe I should have brought scissors out. I don't know. We'll see. Probably should be wearing gloves. I don't know. I'm probably gonna regret this. Good grief, we've got quite the pepper. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go in the house and get scissors. I think I just tore that little plant. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in the house and get some scissors. I'll be right back. Got my clippers. This might be a better choice. So I'm just gonna try to cut the bigger ones, I guess. I might need to stand up here. Wow. This pepper sure is doing good. The pepper plant, I mean, I'm going to leave the little, there's a lot of little ones left on here too. My gosh, it's like I'm having a pepper party. Pepper party for sure. I also put the windscreen on my camera. It's this little fluffy ball thing that, what is that? Oh, well, it's this little fluffy ball thing that, hmm, that's not a hot pepper plant. Well, I wonder what that is. Let's look at this. See, look, can you see that? That's like a ball. That's not growing long. I wonder what kind of plant this is. Hmm, I don't think it's a hot pepper plant because see the hot peppers? They come out like that and that's not doing that. Rob's gonna be thrilled. They're calling for some pretty bad storms tonight, so I'm doing this now so we can get it done. So back to my story, the fluff ball on my camera that I use for a windscreen my cat likes to play with. Going around, let's go that way. So every once in a while, my cat, I'll find that my fluff ball thing in the living room or in the kitchen because the cat took it off the camera. So that's happening at my house. That's fun. Anybody want a cat? It's a black cat. Free to a good home. Just kidding. But let me tell you, this cat of mine climbs the curtain. It's crazy. It's just crazy. The cat is crazy. Okay, let's move to another one. Pepper plant number three. All right, this one's not too overloaded. We'll have to check out my loofah when we're done here. Oh, there's another one. We'll get him over here. Let's see this one. Oh, that's a funny looking one. Look at this. I'll cut it off. That looks, that's an odd one. It'll work. I did taste these peppers the other day and they're hot. My golly, are they hot. Rob likes peppers and oil. I have been having, to, I don't have a pressure canner. And I've been having a terrible time trying to buy one. Well, I found one at a store, don't know the name of the store, don't remember. And they have them, but it's like a two week delay on delivery. 
until I can get it. That's why I'm freezing these peppers right now. Moving on. Once I get the pressure canner, then I'll do the canning videos. Wait for those. That'll be fun. I've been told I need to can outside. Not in my kitchen. Because, you know, some people don't trust me, I guess. I don't know why. I don't see a problem. There's a lot of them in here. Can you see them? I need to kneel down because this is like hurting my back. Okay, let's see. Rob told me I needed to wear gloves when I cut these. So I guess I should. I actually have canned like twice in my life. I pressure canned. It was before that I knew there was a difference between a pressure canner and just a canner and a pressure cooker and all that and weights and things like that and PSIs. So needless to say, like the peppers didn't turn out very well. Some of them did, but some of them just didn't. Now I know why. I can't even get to this plant. I can't even get to the peppers. Here we go. So I'm learning. So hopefully this year I'll be able to make better peppers. How do I get into there? Here, let's just lift this thing up. Make my life a little easier. There's a pepper in here I just cannot get to for the life of me. It's all curled up and I don't know which end is the stem and which end is the... Let's go this way. He's going to just have to be picked because I can't get my scissors in here. There. Odd shape. I think the other ones that are... I know there's a lot here. I'll get this one maybe. But I think I would like for some of these to get just a little bit bigger. Although this is the plant that fell over. So I don't know if I should just pick here. We'll take him. We'll take that one. And we'll let the rest go. Now this one over here, I'll take this one. Isn't this fun? Picking peppers. Pick, Peter Piper picked a batch of pickled pepper things. Anybody know that? Because I don't. I'd have to Google that or ask Alexa. And I'm outside right now and I don't have Alexa with me. But I planted green beans in here too. And they're starting to come up. And look over here, there's my celery that I just stuck in the ground. Those of you that were wondering about my celery, there he is. I didn't put him in water, didn't do all that. I just stuck him in the ground, there he goes. But I've got green beans happening right through here. And I see a pepper over there I need to go get. And just in case, look at me, just in case you wondered, in the soil, if you see the little round balls, that's rabbit poop. And I came out here and I thought, I didn't put my shoes on, so I'm just stepping in the rabbit poop. I guess I have a thing with poop, cow poop. Remember the cow poop? Let's go in here and find some more that's worth picking. Oh, look, we have green peppers here too. Didn't know that didn't label them, remember? Oh, he fell out of the bag. I'm sorry, I'm talking to you as you're looking at the peppers. All right, let's go find some more. There's a couple big ones there. We, we, we can take those. I'm excited to have a green, you know, the bell peppers. I like bell peppers. I did not think that I planted any because all of them were coming out to be hot peppers. So I thought I messed up. Well, I did mess up, but it's okay. People are allowed to make mistakes. I made a mistake. Oh, this is getting pretty heavy. All right, let's get these out of here. All right, there's one. Oh, don't fall, don't fall. It would sure be a lot easier if this cage wasn't on there, wouldn't it? That makes my life easier. The other ones we're gonna leave on there. Quite frankly, I don't know if that cage is going back on there. All right, here's this one. This one might not be so hard to get to. Let's get to this one. All right, let's just, oh, see those snap off, that's easy. Three, there we go. Those are some nice sized peppers, aren't they? These are heavy enough, I might be able to lay them on my, or set them on my bathroom scale and lay them. Might be able to do that. Oh, look. There's more green beans I planted. There was a pepper here and it was, it, it died. The pepper died, so I put some green beans in there. All right, moving on. Let me get my bag. Stepping in the rabbit poop. What are you doing? Should have put some shoes on, but I didn't. And we might have to water the tomatoes over there. Even though it might rain, I still might want to water them. Might as well just pick that one. We'll let that one grow. And then over here, can you see over here? 
Oh, I can smell the hotness now. Oh, I can taste it like on the end of my tongue. That might not be good. Probably should have put some gloves on. But did I know? I didn't. Will I next time? Probably not. Here, got some here. This tiny little plant is producing these huge peppers. We'll leave those on there to grow. We still have another bed to go into, so let's go do that. All right, I've got the other bed opened up. We've got six pepper plants on this end. One of them happens to be a bell pepper. I think just one of them is, don't know. Oh, there might be another bell pepper over there, yonder ways. But let's get the picking in here. There's not too, too many. We'll take that one. Thank you very much. There's three bell peppers in here that may end up may end up being hot peppers if they like cross breed. There's a frog, toad frog. Oh wait, there's another one in here I could go get. And it looks like I need to come out and trim up some tomatoes. Down here, there's more. We'll take him. And there's one over here. Oh come on. Oh don't drop him. Okay, got three out of here. We'll just throw them. Hey, no, Macy. Nope. Dog's trying to get them. Let me get out of here. I'm stuck on a tomato cage. Okay, hold on. All right. When Rob gets home, we're gonna cut. The, we're wait. We're gonna wait. When Rob gets home, we're gonna weigh these and cut them, and we'll uh, get back to you on how much they weigh. All right. I was able to weigh the peppers. We have three pounds and eight ounces of peppers. See, peppers. This whole bag is full of peppers. We got a lot of peppers here. How did I do that, you might want to know? Well, I got on the scale and weighed myself, which you're not going to know how much I weigh. And then I held the bag of peppers and then subtracted that weight. And I came up with three pounds and eight ounces. So there you go. Hashtag Shed Wars. Three pounds and eight ounces, Torm Team Woodcutter. All right, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.